the area of resilience hadn't appeared before in, in the IS rating tool. It just wasn't under consideration. We started realising this is a, a really important area and we needed to have a, a category for it, let, let alone a credit, we needed a category for it. And I think when people start applying those credits, the resilience credit, in other words, they, they start to actually look at the infrastructure planning and design quite differently because there's that, that overarching integration with other, other infrastructure and systems that, that, that becomes so important. So the first step in that, in that credit is actually recognise what the, the shock or the stress is that would demand that you consider what resilience factors you need to build into your infrastructure. That's the first important step, is recognising the shock. And it's not just, a, it's not just an earthquake or what have you, it can be, be ageing infrastructure, population growth, not enough money for, for, for maintenance. So you start to recognise that, well hang on, if you're going to de design your, your infrastructure, you actually need to take those things into account. Mm -hmm.